All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of Yashala. This is your brother Pawaria coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone, Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Dub honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is, In That Day, The Lord Will Make a Way. And that day that I'm referring to is the time of Jacob's trouble because we're fast approaching that time where things are about to intensify, man. Things are about to reach that climax where our faith and, and our trust in the Lord is going to be uh, tested. So it's very important for us to trust in the Lord when these bad times come and, and that we keep our faith within him, okay? Because it tells you in Psalms 118 and 8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So we're not going to put our faith and confidence and fear man. We're going to put our faith and confidence and, and, and our fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because we know that there's a great reward in doing so. And you can read that in Hebrews 10 and 35 where it says, Cast not away your confidence because our confidence have a great recompense of reward. So all we have to do is keep our faith and our trust and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we have a reward coming unto us, man. All right? When you read in Nahum, let's read that in Nahum uh, 1 and 7. It says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. <laughs> you see, so the Lord knows who's, who trust in him, man, that truly believe and trust in him, man. Those are the ones that the Lord is going to save, man. The scripture says that shall he come, shall he find faith on earth. So it's it's a requirement, you know what I'm saying, to have faith. And not to have it is a sin, like the scripture says, man. So we got to make sure we um, hey, pray for more faith, man, you know, and, and, and just making sure that hey, we keep our faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Because these days, it has to come, man. The, the day Jacob's trouble has to come. All right? So this is the time to prepare yourself for those things spiritually, man. All right? So let's read Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, At last, for the day is great, for that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So, hey, the time is great, man, meaning that things is going to intensify, man. And, and this time of Jacob's trouble is ultimately for two-thirds of our people to be destroyed because, hey, they heard this word and they didn't take heed to it. They didn't repent, you know. They didn't change. They didn't turn from their transgression, you know. They continued on in this place, wanted this place to continue on. And so, you know, the so basically this Jacob's trouble is for them to be destroyed, man. All right. Now, of course, the elect, we're going to go through some things, but the Lord is going to deliver us out of those them things, man, out of the troubles. He's going to make a way out when it seems like there's no way of escaping. The Lord is going to find a way for us, man. He's going to make a way for us. All right. Okay, let's read that part again. It says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That he is the elect, man. The Lord is going to save the elect up out of the things that's about to come to this place. All right. So it's important for us to, hey, man, turn from a hey, repent or likewise perish like, like Yahweh Shai said, man. Okay. Let's read this in Isaiah. Let's read Isaiah 59. We're going to read verse uh, 20. It says, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from, from transgression in Jacob, said the Lord. So the, the, the Lord is coming back to redeem those that turn from their transgressions, man. All right. You can't still be that old man 
doing the same old, same old, thinking that the Lord is coming to, to save you, man. Being the same old man, thinking the same way, you know. Let's get this in Ezekiel 18. Let's read Ezekiel 18 and verse, uh, verse 30. It says, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord power. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgression, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Man. That's beautiful, man. It's telling you, man, return, hey, return unto the Lord, man. Repent. All right? Repent from your old that old man. Don't allow that old old man to overtake you in every situation you get yourself put in. You allow that old man to overtake you and, 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 and have his way. All right? We're a new creature, man. We think different now, man. We act different. We walk different. All right, read on in verse 31, it says, Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Man, why would you want to die knowing the terror of the Lord, man, knowing the, the, that the slain of the Lord shall be many? Knowing these things, knowing that the Lord is coming with his wrath, angry. Why would you want to die, man? Because you want to uh, fulfill the lust of your flesh. You want this. You want to do as thou wilt. You know, you want to be a part of this world. You want to succeed in this world. You don't want this world to end because you want to, to do this and do that. All right. Hey, so, hey, man, this is the time, man, to prepare ourselves because these, these things must happen, man. So this is the time to prepare yourself. If, if You got to be prepared for these things, man, and, and be spiritually equipped for these things, okay? But uh, let's read real quick in Sirach. Let's read Sirach uh, 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? So, hey, man, the scripture says in Romans 15 and 4, the things that are written before uh, aforetime was written for our learning. So when you read these scriptures, man, you see how, hey, when, when the men of the Lord put their trust in the Lord, they was never confounded, man. All right? So it's important that we put our trust in, with all our heart and all our mind in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because it tells you also in Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right? And in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So th there you go. That's That's it, man. So when it look like it, there's no way out, man, the Lord is going to make a way for us to escape these things, man. And we can't lean towards our own understanding, man. We can't allow our emotions uh, or or the situation we in to overtake us, man, in, in our uh, decision making and, and in our judgment, man. All right. We can't fear these things, man. We have to know that the Lord is not going to give us nothing that we can't bear. All right? So it's important for us to cast all our burdens upon him, man. Let's get that in Psalms. Um, let's read Psalms 55, verse 2. 22 and it reads it says cast thy burdens upon the Lord 
and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So let's put all our burdens on, on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. He's going to sustain us, man. All right. He's going to provide a way for us to escape the things that's about to come to this place, man. Just, and, so ain't no need to be worrying and, and, and stressing ourselves out. You know what I'm saying? Because we know that these things got to happen, man, in order for our, in order for us to have rest, man. In order for us to have peace and happiness and be able to truly enjoy it, the brothers and truly enjoy uh, our families and, and, and the and our lives. This, this got to happen, man. Hey, so, hey, let it happen, man. Soon and very soon. Lord willing, this year, next year, soon, the Lord come and, and deliver us from our enemies. Because this devil, man, all he want to do is kill us, man. He want to keep us subject unto him. Keep us, you know what I'm saying, you know, trusting in him. Well, not trusting in him, but depending on him, you know. But we don't depend on him, man. We depend on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But yeah, this is, uh, let's get... That first Corinthians uh, chapter 10 and verse 13. And it reads, it says, There have no temptations taken you, but such as is common to man. But the most high power is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. <laughs> man, knowing, man, hey, man, keep our faith and trust in the Lord, man. All right? And like this says, hey, it says, God will make a way where there seem to be no way See, it's written, man. It's already written that the Lord is going to make a way out for us, man. He always, man, he always do, man. All right? We just got to go through that 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 fire. We got to go through the water. We got to go through what that whatever it is that we have to go through, you know what I'm saying, to build us up and make us stronger because the Lord is about to uh, make us to become gods and rulers and judges over the whole entire world, man. All right? So it was important for us to go through this affliction and, 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 and the things that we got to go through so that we can uh, appreciate righteousness. All right? So let's get... Uh, let's read Isaiah 43. And let's start from the top, verse one. It says, but now this, it says, slide. it says, but now thus said the Lord, the create, the created, Salaki. It says, but now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Verse 2. Hey, so that right there, man. Don't fear nothing, man. All right? Read knowing it says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. All right. See, so when we have to go through these difficult times. And this and that. The Lord is going to find a way out, man, for us, man. Okay. We just got to go through it with integrity, man. And having our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. Let's jump down to... uh. 
Uh, let's jump down to verse 15. Isaiah 43 and 15, it says, I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus said the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. So we have to remember, man, how the Lord uh, uh, delivered us from, each, uh, from them Egyptians at the Red Sea. He delivered us, man, <laughs> you know, in those times, man. How much more now, man, in these times where it's going to be a, a, he's about to do another great deliverance for us, man. And this is the last one, man. And that's why he's going to destroy this place with fire, man. He's going to truly cleanse this place and, and so that his kingdom can stand. And it's going to stand forever. All right. We at the end of all of this, man. So, hey, man, keep our faith and our trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. It tells you, um, I think in Romans, let's just get it real quick. Romans 8 and verse 31, it says, what shall we then say to these things? If the most high power be for us, who can be against us? Who can be against us, man, if the Lord is with us? Nothing, man. No, no situation, no no man, nothing can be uh, come up against us, man, if the Lord is with us. All right? Hey, so hey, the Lord is going to give us everything we need, man, in due season, man. It, it, it tells you in Philippians 4.19 that he will supply all our needs, man. So what's, what's there to worry about, man? We should be looking forward to the destruction of this place, man. And it's something we should be praying daily, man, for the Lord to come and end this place, this wicked-ass society, this wicked ass world that is vexing to a righteous, uh, righteous person, man. If you're righteous and, and, and you fear the Lord and you have faith in the Lord, hey, you will be vexed. You will hate this world, man. All right. But, uh, yeah, the point pretty much been made, man. You know, we got to come into a time like never before, man. All right. It tells you that in Daniel 12 and 1. So this is the time, man, to really be girding, our, uh, girding your loins up, man, to really be a putting on the whole armor of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man, putting on the whole armor because we're at war, man, a spiritual warfare, okay? And, and, we, and, and you hear a lot about brothers and their dreams, brothers and sisters, man, having dreams, about Jacob's trouble and being delivered out of it, man. It's so, man, it's uplifting. It's a faith booster, you know what I'm saying, to 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 um to hear those dreams, man, and those visions that brothers are having and brothers and sisters are having about being delivered, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's a hey, it's a beautiful thing, man, and we at the end of this where the Lord is about to Make everybody a believer, man. When he come and reveal himself and he crack that sky and, and you know what I'm saying? And show you that he that he's real, that he exists. All right. But I'm gonna just end it with this scripture right here in Luke. Let's read Luke 21, verse 36. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And he says, watch ye therefore and pray always. See, prayer is, 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 is mandatory, man. Prayer is power. It's power in our prayers, man. And, and so it's, it's important that we pray and keep on watching, man. So that when the Lord do come, he don't come like a thief in the night. You know what I'm saying? Unto us, man. We're ready. We're prepared. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. We want to be accounted worthy 
to escape these things, man, that's about to come to this place, man. All right? And be able to stand in, 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 in the sight of, of, of our Lord and our Savior and be able to receive salvation, man, and not destruction. All right? So, hey, man, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and always in charity. All right? Hey, we almost out this hellhole, man. Hey, we have to hey, hey, keep our faith in the Lord, man, and not be moved by all these wayward doctrines. Not be moved by any situation that we in. Not, nothing should move us, man, for uh, standing boldly for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, and keeping our faith within Him, man. Nothing should move us from that, man. Don't let nothing knock us off our square, off our rock, because Yahweh Shai is our rock, man. You know. So. Uh, yeah, so, hey, Lord willing, like I said, this was edifying, man. Shalom, Amakia, and you, Akwa, that listen. Shalom.